One of the most requested videos I've had is to make transitions in Canva. And so that's what we're gonna do today. So if you wanna learn how to make something just like this, in Canva for free, then stick around, let's get to it. Does your stream need healing? If so, you've come to the right place. My name is Dr. Heels, I'm your content cleric, and I look forward to teaching you guys how to make a bomb brand on a budget to grow your stream without spending too much cash and teach you how to make really cool stuff in free programs like Canva. If that sounds like what you're looking for, be sure to subscribe to this channel and follow me over on Twitch where I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Love to hang out with you guys sometime. With all that said, let's jump into the tutorial. All right, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to canva.com. If you're not already signed up for Canva, I'll have it linked down below, uh, as well as a 30-day free trial to the pro account if you wanna test that out. Some cool stuff you're gonna do with that, uh, but none of that we're gonna need today. Uh, first, thing you're, first thing you're gonna do is hit create a design. Um, I already know what size I need, 1920 by 1080, because that's what size I stream in. Um, but I'm just gonna type in intro, and you're gonna see a YouTube intro pops up here. Now this is really useful because um, there's already a lot of templates here. We're not gonna use any of those for this, but you're welcome to explore these and see what cool things you can make. Um, Canva does a really good job at providing very, very valuable assets. So what we're essentially gonna do is we're gonna make a transition. Now, uh, a transition, we have to think of it in, in three parts. We have uh, where the transition comes in, we have the middle where something plays, and then at the end where it all goes away. And so that's all we need is three scenes. We have one scene here, there's a second, and there's a third. Easy as that. Uh, I'm not actually going to do this. I'm gonna delete these because you'll see why in just a moment. Uh, I will be making the exact transition I showed in the beginning, um, but it's, it's actually very simple to do and very simple to customize and make your own. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna give this a background color. I think black is the most subtle. Um, and I may actually not go with a full black. I may uh, bring it up maybe just a little bit where it's almost a dark, dark gray. Yeah, something about like that I think is fine. Um, now when it first comes in, I want it to play something. And so um, what I had found before was a couple, um, these right here, these little cross icons. Um, the way to find moving things is to look for stickers. That's what Canva calls them. So you can go and choose, I mean, any of these stickers if you want. Um, these to be what what comes in first you can you know size these where you want them um, alt drag to copy um, You know flip it horizontal and and you could fill these up and have your screen fill up with these little stars um, That's not what I'm gonna be doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in stickers um, X and I'm gonna get a bunch of different set uh, options for this I want one that's gonna fit my branding and and so I think this is one I had originally chosen um, but I do kind of like this I think that looks kind of nice. I'm gonna scroll and see if they might have that in white. They don't, but they actually have it in purple. So I think I'm gonna go with this purple X um, and I'm just gonna size it down. Something like this where it happens over here. I'm gonna alt drag over here um, and maybe add just a little bit of rotation. Something like, you know, that. So it's not exactly the same as the other one. Kind of same over here. I want it to feel a little bit random. Maybe put that one down here. I uh, one up here and again add just maybe a little bit of rotation on it. Anyway, that is our first scene as simple as that So now what we're gonna do is we want to keep this scene exactly the same. I'm not sure why my browser keeps doing this This is not Canva. This is uh, Opera. I'm pretty certain um, All right, so we're just gonna hit this button right here to duplicate this page The reason I do that is because now all these are in the exact same location I don't have to try to match them up again um, And so whenever I animate through it's just gonna look like things are added not like it's a whole new page um, so from here, I'm going to add some sort of full screen element. Now, this is where uh, your imagination can run wild. I actually thought about going to YouTube and downloading a um, like Star Wars light speed video or something and putting in the background or, or it can be literally anything that you want. Um, I ended up finding this right here is what I ended up using. Um, and let's see if so we can find it again. So we, you know what to type in uh, stickers. Stickers cross, we'll look for that for a minute. The idea here is just you want something that kind of fills up the screen. I mean, it can be anything. It can be this if, if you know that's what you're into. Uh, if it fits your brand, that's fine. Oh, you know what? I kind of like this uh, actually as a kind of subtle. Uh, and I'm gonna scale it out. So I'm gonna press control and my minus key to zoom out. I don't know why it's acting so weird, but I'm gonna center it right there. 
we'll put it right there and now I'm gonna control zero to zoom back in actually it's a little too far let's just fit it to the screen um, now I actually want to position it behind everything so I'm gonna go position to back now I'm actually gonna drag it and bring my opacity down say maybe 30% I think that looks kind of nice it's pretty subtle next thing I'm gonna do is I want to bring in my logo so any kind of branding you may have this would be the time to bring it in uh, you just go to uploads and you would just drag it in um, or you can go to upload media and choose it um, but of course I have my logo right here and so now I'm gonna drag this in just like this uh, that looks seems like a pretty good size for it and at this point what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click uh, duplicate the page and so now this is my final page my third page um, and I'm gonna delete the background out and I will probably go ahead and delete these X's out um, and so this is it and it'll just animate off okay so now we actually need to work on our animation um, and so first what we're gonna do um, is we're going to add our animation and I think pop is what I used last time yeah pop looks good I think We'll add a pop to it and I definitely do not want this to be five seconds so what this time is this is the time for this individual slide um, this is the time total we don't want this time to be over two and a half seconds anything longer than that is a very annoying transition so I'm gonna go with pop I'm gonna change this to be we'll set it at about point seven seconds and we'll test this in just a moment this is what I'm gonna stick with for now okay I'm gonna go to this one and again i want it to pop in as well um, but we can change this we can have it stomp in we can have a baseline where it slides in uh, you can scrapbook where it kind of moves in whatever you want um neon kind of works but for me i think i'm going to go with the pop to keep it consistent uh, then i'm going to add one one and a half seconds to this one i think um, and this one right here we're going to do the same thing so i'm going to set it at about the 0.7 seconds to match the one in the beginning and I will have it uh, pop out. Okay, that puts us at 2.9 seconds. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring these down to 0.5. Um, and this one 2.5 as well. There we go, so now we're at our two and a half and we can play it back. And that's exactly what our transition's gonna look like. So we'll play it one more time. There it is okay so one thing i noticed um right here i kind of want it to just pop out and be done I, I don't want the the logo to pop back in actually right there so i'm going to go ahead and delete my logo so now it's just a black screen and i don't need this screen to last that long i need to last about 0. 0.2 seconds because this will be the final thing they see before it goes away and the new scene is revealed so let's watch it back logo's there and they can see it for about a, a second and a half i think that's plenty of time and then it's gone we'll watch one more time Okay, now in, in retrospect, I think that I want this background to be just a little bit darker. And um, this is me just being a little bit nitpicky. Something like that. So I'm just gonna copy this hex code right there and I will move it over um, to all of these. So I'm gonna move this on, so click the background. Oh, I think it's right there. Yep. Fortunately, Canvas saves it. So I'm just gonna recenter this dude back up. And we'll go to this last one and we'll do the same thing there color choose that one all right now watch it back yeah I think it's nice now here what you're gonna do is you're just gonna click download video mp4 make sure it selects all pages and you're gonna download it just like that in this moment I'll show you how to actually put it in to OBS okay now our design is saved obviously didn't name it I should have let me bring OBS over so you can see exactly what I'm doing all right here's OBS sorry for the little bit of stream inception we're seeing um, from here I'm gonna click right here um, and now yours may look a little bit different. I'm sorry, I'm gonna click right here. Um, but essentially what I wanna do is I wanna add a Stinger transition. Yours may look different, but look for Stinger, um, and you're gonna set that up. So then I'm gonna name it YouTube Test um, 2, because I think I did one, already used that name once. Uh, I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna find my video file. I'm gonna go browse, and I know it's in uh, my downloads folder, and I know it was untitled Design 16 because I didn't name it. And our time, I'm gonna to set to about 1,000 milliseconds and that should that should match up pretty well. And um, that's all we're gonna do right there, we're done. I'm gonna click okay. And now if I change scenes, when we click full screen, we should see the transition we just made. And there it is. Just like that, we made a completely custom transition uh, in just a matter of minutes. 
All right, I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you can make your own transition. And if you do, be sure to let me know. Jump in my Discord, post it in the share your art section. Love to check it out, give you any tips if uh, you want advice or any kind of feedback on it. Uh, that'd be really cool. But be sure to hang out. The video's not over. I'm actually going to make an entirely new um, transition right on, on on the video that I had never even touched for, just made it up as I go for the Youthful Yeti brand. So stay around for that. But if you haven't already, guys, be sure to subscribe to this channel and follow me over on Twitch. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We'd love for you guys to come over and hang out. If you have any questions about design or streaming or anything like that, uh, throw them my way. Or if you have any suggestions for another video, uh, I'd love to hear it. So come hang out with me sometime. Uh, but hang out and let's jump into making the Youthful Yeti transition uh, just for fun. All right, let's get into it. All right, so let's say we want to we want to make youthful yeti. So I'm gonna I'm gonna delete these. Okay, we don't need these anymore. Youthful yeti. All right, youthful yeti. I remember the branding a little bit, a little bit. We're gonna go with a full black. I'm gonna go to elements. I'm gonna add in a foot, uh, like this one. Change that color to a bright red, and I want to make it seem like it's like walking in. Uh, we'll see if we can do it. Okay. Maybe if it's, uh, maybe, let's see if we, do you think that we can almost like some, make it look like it's getting uh, closer? All right, we're gonna flip, flip horizontal, make this one just slightly bigger, right? Flip horizontal, slightly bigger, right? Like he's, he's walking in, he's walking across is what I'm, I'm trying to symbolize here. Okay, something like that. Just, just, to, just to throw that little, little bit of branding in there. Now let's see what it looks like if we pop it in. Uh, I don't know what'll work best, but pop. Nah, it doesn't feel right. No. Ooh, oh, maybe. Stop. What about tumble? Rise is. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think the problem is. I think it's, we just don't have enough time. So let me bump it up to like a second. Okay, that has an interesting feel to it. I wish you could almost choose the direction it comes in. All right, tumbles, no. I was kind of hoping for tumble, but. Interesting. I wonder if fade is affected by their positioning. No, maybe not. No, okay. Okay, fade actually looks pretty good to me here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go make a copy of this. We are now going to throw in the, I don't think I have the Youthful Yeti logo on here actually. I think it was my other account I designed it on, yeah. So we're just going to throw in the name Youthful Yeti and I'm just gonna click add a heading. Size it in. This is how you do it if you don't have a logo. We're just gonna adjust our line height, bring it up just a little bit, just like that. I'm gonna center it right in this page. Change the font, something a little more playful. Uh, this is actually pretty good. Go, let's search around, find a font that you like. Let's go with it, that works. All right, now let's add some sort of background. I don't know what kind of background so we're gonna go uh, sorry we're gonna go elements sticker well I, I don't know full will bring up like full screens or I want some sort of animation to make this part feel interesting though uh, let's see what if we go sticker like uh, rustic I don't, I don't know if rustic's the right what about glitch this part right here is just a bonus. Uh, you, you guys didn't have to stay around if you didn't want to. But all right, let's see. Uh, okay, we're getting, oh, that, that's where I found this. Okay. Let's see, let's see. All right. And I wish that was, I wish it wasn't yellow though. I wish I could change the color. Green, okay, wait a minute, we're getting somewhere. What's this one? Red, oh, there we go, guys. All right, same thing as before, almost same thing as before. I'm actually gonna make two of them. No, I don't want to do that. I, I just want the one. All right. So I'm going to center it up. 
We're gonna zoom back out to say 25% so I can go full screen with this. Okay, just like that. Like to fit. Um, and I want it to actually have a little bit less opacity, but probably a little more than the one I made for me. That looks pretty good. Now, I mean, we could actually add a couple things in here if we wanted to. Like, uh, I'm hoping to find something that kind of fits what I, I call the Youthful Yeti brand. Um, but we're getting a lot of these, like, little, these things that are really useful. Those are cool. I like this a lot. Let's see. Uh, is there a monster of some sort? These are cute. Not what we're going for, but could definitely be used for some different stuff. I don't know. All right, doesn't fit, but you, you can see what we're doing here. We're just playing around with it. We're making some different stuff. All right, I don't know. I don't know that I would never, I would honestly never use this, but all we're gonna do now, um, just to let you guys see what it'd look like, I'm gonna hit duplicate, and then essentially I'm deleting everything, right? Just so we have a black page, okay. And this one, I don't want it to fade in. I want it to pop in, right? Or, well, scrapbook in. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, now let's watch it back. All right, that middle part, I feel like needs a little bit more time to it. So let's give this about a second and a half. Um, and this beginning part, I want to take a little bit from it, I think. Let's try that. Right, okay, so something like that. Uh, that was just something we quickly threw together, but you see how you can play around with it and come up with your own ideas. Um, anyway, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. Thought year, and so many people have seeked out all the wrong things uh, to deal with their their anger, to deal with their loneliness, to deal with their frustration, to deal uh, with the sin that they're struggling with. They've they turned to all the wrong things. When Psalm 46 1 tells us that God is our refuge and He's our strength, He's our our help in times of trouble.